Now in your national news, the White House is taking action on the baby formula crisis. President Biden invoking the Defense Production Act. Now that's typically used in times of war, but now it is being used to increase the nation's supply of baby formula. Our chief White House correspondent, Kristen Welker, has more. Under growing pressure, President Biden now taking dramatic action to address the nationwide baby formula shortage. On Tuesday, he invoked the Defense Production Act, requiring suppliers of key formula ingredients to prioritize delivery to formula manufacturers. I've directed my team to do everything possible to ensure there's enough safe baby formula and that it's quickly reaching families that need it the most. The president also launching Operation Fly Formula, ordering the military to direct planes to transport formula to the U.S. from other countries. These drastic measures, usually reserved for wartime, coming after the crisis had been going on for months, leading to anger from voters and desperation from parents. That is the one goal, in our, and as a parent, is to make sure our child has what they need. Even some Democrats say the administration should have acted sooner. I give everybody an F on the entire spectrum of this. Nobody focused on this like they needed to. The formula shortage so severe, it's now leading to new hospitalizations. 11-week-old baby Clo is one of at least four new cases linked to the shortage at the Medical University of South Carolina. Clo had gastrointestinal surgery on Monday, but with allergies to dairy and soy, she needs a special formula that has been nearly impossible for her parents to find. Clo's mother telling our Kate Snow. We had tried everything for her. Um, sorry. Um. We need to have her on the most hypoallergenic formula to see like if this will indeed help her to keep us out of the hospital. That was Kristen Welker reporting.